Happy Friday! Happy Friday. <laughs> it, it's Friday, October 15th. Ooh, Johnny, I'm going to bring you the three Halloween envelopes. So, guys, we are going to start. We've only got three Fridays or weekends left, so we got to pick one out of three Halloween movies that we have. And we're gonna go after dinner, Johnny's beautiful dinner. We got green beans, we got chicken for me, steak for Johnny, some biscuits, make a little saucy sauce. And then uh, after this, we're gonna go run some errands, take the dogs to me. my, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we, don't play. Me. Nope, we. Me. We are gonna go take the dogs to my mom's house. Then we gotta go to Hobby Lobby. Okay, we can't be out too long for them. Right work. Eight long. Um, got it, okay. chef. Got it, chef. Thank you. We gotta go to Hobby Lobby, and we gotta go. Hey, excuse me, sir. Nobody asked for your contribution. Nobody wants to hear you on the vlog. Thank you. Uh, and Publix to get the items we need for the Halloween dinner tomorrow. Let me go get the envelopes. Here we have our Halloween movie night envelopes. Top secret shit. Let me shuffle, let me shuffle. <laughs> kind of hard to just breathe. All right, chef, if you don't mind, pick a Halloween envelope. <laughs> okay, do you want to do the honors and open it? Yeah, you can open it. I can open it? Okay. All right, our Halloween movie for date night tomorrow is, drum roll please. <laughs> it is Corpse Bride. We have Bone Jangles Barbecue Chicken, Emily's Crunchy Onion Green Beans. Oh, we're having green beans today. <laughs> Um, Victor's wedding cake slice, and we got to come up with corpse bride wine. This is it. Okay, we'll have to take this to the store with us. -na 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 -na. Wow. Yeah. Hey. All right. So first thing. Dessert, Victor's wedding cake slice. We're just gonna get some of these. Ooh, do I want red velvet? Or funfetti? Red velvet or funfetti? That was me, I think red velvet. That's I like their funfetti. That fun fetty looks decent. We'll get a we'll get one of these too. Probably for the price of these slices, we could have got a whole cake. <laughs> but are you gonna eat chocolate? Because you know I'm not gonna eat anything. No. Else. Okay, so we got our okay. wedding cake slices. Wedding sure, cake slices. Butter, we need. Uh, we need some wine. Have you ever heard of buttermilk? No. And then we need some smoked barbecue sauce, chicken breast, and green beans. I have the crunchy onions. And we have honey. 
mayo at home and gouda. Okay. For the movie, yeah, they usually serve wine at a wedding, so Chardonnay or Riesling? No. Special no. Chardonnay or Riesling? Because it's dark. It's kind of dark. <laughs> right. You're not answering. Whichever one you want. Riesling. I'm gonna get both though. Okay, I got both. See what I got. Can you get both of those for me? Do you want to turn it in the race one? Yeah. That's my favorite Riesling, guys. If you can find this, Saint Chateau Saint Michel. Yeah. Have you tried those? The stomach, the, the dark ones? No, I have not. Yeah. This is gonna be my first time trying it, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He had the. He's trying the these. Wing these wing he's wing tried wing before. Wing wing the chocolate yeah. order. Oh, exactly. Yeah, the, the Yingling it's, it's not with like Hershey's. A super crazy chocolate. It's not sweet, but it's just like a slight. Sun. Okay, so smoked Gouda. We need smoked Gouda for on top of the Shikong. Green beans check. Not related for our date night, but this dressing right here, Brianna's Homestyle Blush Wine Vinaigrette. So bomb. With like a salad like this with some feta cheese. Ooh, baby, so good. Okay, now we need the barbecue sauce. Let me see if I can figure out which one it was. Hmm. <laughs> Over here. Oh my gosh, right here. There we go. For the rescue. Look at it. <laughs> Garlic and herb butter, check. You might enjoy so much. <laughs> Double check. We have acquired all of the goods for our first Halloween movie date night, I believe. We got the stuff to make the barbecue chicken. We got stuff to make the crunchy onion green beans. We got wedding cake slices, and we got wine for Corpse Bride wine. So we got all our stuff, we're gonna head home. We ended up not going to Le Hobby Lobby, because they close at eight. You owe me an ice cream. <sighs> That's right. Johnny said he would only come run these errands with me. I got him ice cream and lucky enough I got a $10 Dairy Queen gift card we'll be getting some ice cream yep. right, now put her in the drive and take us to Dairy Queen please and thank you <laughs> okay. good morning Saturday, October 16th. I'm on my way to my bun. Just don't let me be great in this car. It's like pulled all the hair out. Anyway, I'm on my way to the fertility doctor. Um, today is day three of my cycle. And they have to get blood work drawn today. Um, just to kind of get like, I guess, I guess like a baseline of what my numbers look like before, before ovulation and just, I don't know, whatever else they got to do. Today I felt like not looking like poop. So I put a little bit of makeup on. Just a little bit. My partner in crime's not here. He's working today. Uh, I think last week, this week, I have a hair. There we go, I got it, dang lord. 
Okay, so last week, this week, and next week, he'll be working six days a week. Um, I guess a little overtime, which is, you know, like, good for the money. But he's tired. He's tired. Um, so after that, I will be hopefully meeting up somewhere. My mom's going to Sam's Club. And it, I sh hopefully should be on my way back from the appointment that I could meet her to um, pick up the dog's stuff. Because since we dropped them off yesterday at my mom's house, we dropped off their bowls, their beds, their blankets, their cage, like everything. Uh, so that they could spend the night <laughs> at my parents' new house. And then my mom's taking them to the groomer this morning since I have this appointment. And then I can go home and once they call me, I um, could go pick up the dogs later. So I also, I did not make it to Hobby Lobby yesterday as you, know, you guys saw because they closed at eight and we were taking the dogs to my parents. So I'm gonna be going to Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't remember, I felt like there was something else I was supposed to do, but now I don't remember. Whatever happened to you guys? have to think about it anyway I'm just waiting until I can safely turn you guys off so yeah now all right guys I'm done with the blood work um not gonna lie it was a little brutal I got my bandage here but um yeah it was it sucked um one giving blood and needles gives me anxiety uh, I have the worst baby veins ever, so they always have a hard time finding them. And a lot of times they end up like digging around, hurting me. It's just a mess. Um, I have like one spot that works well for giving blood. However, I wasn't expecting it to be 12 tubes of blood. And, um, and then I had to give a urine sample also. Um, so is hurting <laughs> it's a little painful but we got it done she was super sweet too um she's like it's okay because I'm, I'm going back up there on thursday anyway so she's like it's okay like we got to make sure that we get the day three blood work today because that's the most like time sensitive that's the reason why i'm there on the saturday morning um but otherwise she's like if we can't get all of them today like all the blood work done we can finish the rest on thursday so it's no big deal but luckily my girl cooperated over here. My vein, Leslie. I think I'm going to call her Leslie from now on. It's the only one I got that works. So I feel like I should have a connection and give her a name. She's going to be Leslie. So Leslie cooperated. Filled up all 12 tubes. We're good. Um, yeah, so I'm heading right now to Sam's um, to meet my mom. That's where she's at pick up all the dogs stuff and then I will go my separate way and run my other errands and then she will finish going about her business um, and then uh, later I will obviously take you guys along with me I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby pick up some art supplies and then go home and prep tonight's dinner I feel like it's better if I just prep it now so I'll show you guys that because it's a really yummy quick easy recipe um, it is a smoked honey barbecue Gouda chicken with crunchy onion, garlic, and herb green beans. Sounds super fancy, but it's very easy. So I will show you guys how to make it and uh, share the recipe with you guys. So let me get my ass to Sam's Club. and later too um so yeah i don't want to take too too long out and about Ooh, that car is freaking beautiful oh my gosh it was like a purpley blue iridescent range rover gorgeous oh my gosh absolutely gorgeous see you guys later okay bye. guys look at my eyes see how red they are I don't know what's going on. 
Probably have to get rid of these contacts by now. Um, yeah. All right. I told y'all I was going to show you how to make this dinner. So I get a lot of meals from Home Chef um, every week, usually three to four, sometimes five. But yeah, usually at least three meals um, just because I get tired of coming up with different ideas. Um, by the way, this is not sponsored, okay? I be buying this shit with my own money. Like, I'm not big or anything like that, so no. Um, I'm talking about it because we really do enjoy it. Watch. Show you this binder. All Home Chef meals, okay? There's like 15 right here. We have a binder full, full of different meal recipe cards. And yeah, I pay for this shit with my own money because... I just think that it's worth it to me personally because we get to try different things. I don't have to come up with the idea. Sometimes I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I just go in and snatch a little recipe and buy all the stuff and make it. Um, especially some of the old ones, which is what I'm doing right now. So this one was so good. It's um, chicken. I will say, okay, I'm Puerto Rican. I like to put a little bit more than just a little pinch of salt and pepper. Okay, so I always doctor everything up. But this one is... Smoked Gouda Chicken and Honey Barbecue Aioli with Garlic Butter Green Beans. Um, so I'm going to season my chicken breast, get them in a pan. I always have extra because sometimes I'll order like the oven ready meals um, that are supposed to be like made in the oven for like tacos. I'll just pop that shit on a stove and save the pan for a time like this. So I'm going to put the green beans in one and chicken in the other. Prep it, put it in the fridge, have it ready for later. Um, I will include the information down below on this. Um, but I got my chicken breast. I got smoked Gouda. I got my green beans. Honey. I need to grab some mayo and my smoked barbecue sauce. So hold on. Okay. Got my smoked barbecue. Uh mayonnaise honey that's to make the sauce which i'm gonna prep in advance i'm gonna uh season my chicken breast my go-to seasoning i have it in this little jar with these cute little labels um probably add a little bit of like onion powder this one is uh garlic and herb it's from um Weber, it's my favorite one. I don't know why, but I just love it so much. Um, I also have this one that I use sometimes. It's the Weber Kickin' Chicken. Love it. Um, yeah, so I will season up my chicken with a little salt, pepper, garlic, and herb, onion powder. Oh my God, I'm just looking at how bad my eyes are right now. I gotta get these contacts out, but let me cut this first. Um, so the green beans we're going to put in one pan here and we are going to um, pretty much use the same thing. Salt, garlic and herb, a little bit of pepper, um, a little bit of water, and uh, olive oil. I'm going to pour a little bit of olive oil on here. Decent amount. Okay. I'm going to put my garlic and herb seasoning sprinkle 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 just gonna put a little bit of onion powder not too much because we're gonna put crunchy onions on it later but sprinkle a little bit of that salt pepper Sprinkle this. Sprinkle sprinks. Pepper. Okay, we don't like no bland food up in here. And I don't do, like to me, a pinch is like, like this. No, no. I don't pinch in this house. I do the claw. Okay, that's what I call it. A claw of salt and a claw of pepper because... These little pinches leave your shit mad bland. 
All right, here we go. Can you see? You see all the little flakies of garlic and all the herbs that are in here? That's why I love this one. Lots of stuff in here. Love it. Again, it's a Weber one. So clean and season your meat, all right? However you desire. Please, please don't just be, you know, putting a little teeny, teeny, tiny bit of salt and pepper and that's it. The Lord created other things. So use the garlic. Use whatever you want. Put a little fucking paprika on there if you want to. Then once we have them seasoned, we will uh, top it with this smoked smoked gouda. I feel like a, a little salt bay. Okay, chicken is seasoned. Now, I want you to take that, again, smoked Gouda. Oh, my eyes, I can't take myself, seriously. Smoked Gouda, top this chicken real good with the smoked Gouda, okay? So, we got chicken seasoned. See all that Gouda I put on there? Because it's going to melt gonna be delicious we're gonna set the oven to 425 you cook your chicken until it's 165 degrees okay um if you don't have one of these get yourself one of these my husband is a chef so of course we have a fancy one this one is expensive from thermoworks I think, oh yeah, Thermal Works, it's a Thermapen MK4. It will tell you the temperature, okay? Um, it will tell you the temperature. You want it at 165. Um, that's when you want to pull it out, okay? Because as your chicken will continue to sit and rest, especially in that pan, um, residual heat will bring it up a little bit more. Chicken is cooked at 165 degrees, any more than that, and um, you don't have dry ash chicken, okay? Nobody likes dry ash chicken. Um, again, because when you remove it, it will continue to stay hot and kind of cook a little longer. Um, so, you know, your finishing temp is probably closer, and then, you know, that's that's measuring the thick part of the, the chicken. You know, you want to put it in a thicker piece where as soon as it reaches 165, that means it's cooked. Uh, some of your thinner end pieces, you're going to be at, at like 175, 180. The longer you cook that, okay, if your thicker piece is getting a 180, the end piece of your chicken breast where it's a little bit thinner, that's going to be like a 200 degrees. Just, <laughs> chewy. Nobody wants that, okay? So we are going to pop this in the fridge and wait until later. Uh, I'm also gonna make the sauce. So let me pop this in the fridge. I'll be right back and make the sauce. So that we can have it ready, we are going to combine barbecue sauce, mayonnaise, and honey. Um, is there a little cutty cut? No, okay. What I'm using is Sunny's barbecue, it's a smoking, smoking barbecue sauce. It's like a, you know, got more of the smoky to match this uh, smoked Gouda. And um, mayonnaise and honey. I'm not measuring. You just make a good amount. I would say your barbecue and mayo are um, like equal parts. Got your honey. I did a little sweeter, so I add a little extra honey, okay? Put a good amount of honey in there. 
gonna mix it up and see what this is looking like. If I have to add, I kind of know more based off the color, but I might have to add a little bit more mayonnaise. Um, technically, that's what an aioli is. You just mix a bunch of shit in mayonnaise, and that makes an aioli. Okay, so when you got like a garlic aioli, that's just garlic, salt. I think sometimes I'll put a little lemon juice or something with mayonnaise. Garlic aioli. Okay, we're gonna try this. Mmm. looks like okay it's all set mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right go put a little lid on this pop that in the fridge we good to go last thing though once we cook this I'll show you guys, but once we cook this, one thing I forgot to show you, these are the MVPs of the meal. I'm sorry if it's flipped and backwards, but whatever. It's the French's crispy fried onions. You put this shit on top of your green beans with the sauce, the chicken, mop up all that sauce, get the little crunchies. So good. Okay, that's it. Super simple. I will put the recipe down below so that you guys can follow. If you make it, let me know. Hope you enjoy, okay? Uh, check with you later, bye. Okay, yeah. our room? Okay. Good boy. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> he just cleaned it. No. I'm going to have wine. All right. Gouda chicken is done. Smoked Gouda chicken. Got our green beans. I get the saucy sauce once we plate it i'll show you oh we got to add the garlic herb butter in here mix it around and then once you plate it you put the little crunchy onions and the sauce goes on here so i'll show you in one sec I'm gonna poop glitter. All right, we got our green beans with the crunchy onions, smoked gouda, barbecue chicken. We'll have our sliced wedding cake and our wedding wine, except Johnny's having beer. There it is. Good morning, it's Sunday. We came to the gym. I gotta get away from the door. It keeps unlocking. Look at Johnny hiding. He's not happy. I think I'm just gonna do a quick little treadmill or elliptical. Which one do you wanna do, babe? Ooh. Which one do you wanna do, treadmill or elliptical? Mm -hmm. 
All right, we're going to do the treadmill. Mm -hmm. It's Sunday the 17th at 7.46 in the morning and he's not happy. <laughs> but what did you tell me? Why are we here? If you want the Peloton, you're going to work on for a month. You. 30 days. You. <clears throat> no. All right, let's get this workout done. Hey guys, um, so this morning, it's Sunday by the way, uh, October 17th. Um, Johnny and I went to the gym that's here in our um, development. Um, just walked on the treadmill where it's like, we're just getting back, like, well, I'm just getting back into the gym or whatever. So um, didn't want to do anything crazy. Um, but I definitely need to start working out because I just don't feel good. I feel like heavy and blah and you know what I mean? Um, like I, I can feel the, the weight and you know, like I just feel sluggish and I don't like the way I feel and I don't like the way that I um, look and feel in clothing it's to the point where it's like I don't want to go anywhere I don't want to make plans with people because I really don't want to have to like think about an outfit and getting dressed and feeling uncomfortable in my clothes um, a lot of times like after I'm done working and I will cook dinner and I will literally just go lay in bed like it's it's definitely to a point that it, I don't think I've ever felt like this before um, but it's like I've sat in this long enough that I've you know come to realize or um, you know like if I don't want to feel like that then what can I do about it? What what do I have, you know, the control over to change that situation? And pretty much the only things I can control are my activity and what I eat. My body's going to do its own thing. That's, you know, unfortunately, with the issues that I have, it's never really going to change. And all I have to do is try my best to put in the effort to eat healthier move more and do what I can that's in my control and hopefully results will follow that will lead me to feeling better so that's kind of where I'm at so anyway I am on my way to my mom's house we're having like a little cookout get together at her house I brought salad I brought um, fresh farm corn on the cob and I'm going to Publix to pick up the birthday cake for the October birthdays of our family. Um, yep, I sh it should be ready now at 12. It's 11.57, so I'm on my way to go get that. And then, um, they're making a bakery there? Oh, yes. Hell yeah. Oh my God. Listen to me, talk about eating healthier, losing weight, and I'm over here getting super excited about a bakery. <laughs> but balance, right? Balance. So yeah, I'm gonna get the cake and see y'all later. Good job, Fred. Your lungs still work. Very good. Cut it off. Gotta go.